And I want to unusually reference the leader of the opposition in my intervention on this. Because I received a clip recently, a few days ago, where he toured the diaspora and a question was put to him and sent out into TikTok land around the state of the healthcare facilities. And I don't think it was AI, artificial intelligence. I think it was him. And he, his response, you know, was, wasn't, wasn't very gracious, <laughs> uh, but also, I dare say, not very logical. His response was that our priorities, yes, you did actually, our priorities, our priorities were not correct, the government's priorities, because we were there building out buildings. And what we really should be doing is solving the problem of bed shortage. And people were waiting in chairs for bed. It caused me to pause a bit because I considered the logic of wanting to have more bed and not wanting to build more buildings. And, 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 and I had to you know, reflect. And I want to say that that road to transformation, Mr. Opposition Leader, colleague, requires significant investment in infrastructure if beds and waiting areas are going to be built. I don't know any other way to do it because the underinvestment over the many decades has left us so wanting that this government, having recognized that, has decided to invest more than any other in the infrastructure that is required to right-size the facilities of healthcare. I want to come back to the point that was made in that clip in the diaspora community by the opposition leader, because he, he caused me to rearrange my speech a bit to satisfy, because I think it's important, because I think, I think when we talk to our Jamaicans, whether here or abroad, mm -hmm. while I agree with the debates and the cut and thrust of the debate, I think we have to be careful about false narratives, yeah. either through ignorance, yeah. Yeah. lack of understanding, yeah. or just plain mischief. Yeah. And I'm not accusing you of any one of the above, <laughs> but something is wrong. Yeah. Something is wrong. Something is wrong with that narrative. Because if you really want more beds and more waiting area, and more doctors, and more nurses. How could you not want us hiring more doctors and nurses, building more health centers, building more hospitals to provide more beds? It don't make sense. I am making the leader of the opposition the subject of my conversation. And, and by the way, I respect the role that you have and that you have to speak. So this is not, this is not, a, this is not a broad side. Unfairly, but I want you to have the facts so that when you speak, yes. Yes. you can understand that we can have we can have our own facts. <laughs> facts is facts. <laughs> that's, that's the point, right? Facts is facts. What is the end result of all that I have just said in terms of build out? Yes. We have about four thousand five hundred beds in the public health system now, on an average day. I am told by the technocrats, you have anywhere between three and 500 people trying to get a bed. That's what they tell me. So there is weight. Remember I said we are on the road to transformation. I am not, I am not a false, false narrative carrier. We are on the road. We're not there yet. We're on the road, right? 4,500. Now after this build out takes place, which we are, which is happening now, we are expected to have just over 6,000 beds in our hospitals. We are expected to add a 30% capacity to inpatient care. We are going to be adding thousands of feet of waiting area, some AC, like Cambridge Health Center. We are expected to have 1,000 new doctors, 1,500 new nurses, we will have, in another year and a half, 15 brand new, some Jamaicans just call it new brand, operating theaters with new equipment, new equipment. And if you, if you add the four at Cornwall, it will be 19. And I'm saying to you, 
member, colleague, opposition leader, that will mean that the problems that you identify will be solved. I don't have a problem with your saying, we have a problem now, because people wait, because that would be a fact. But don't say that this government has mixed priorities, because our plan is very clear. The government, the Prime Minister, and my colleague are moving in the right direction, and the people of Jamaica are going to better our work.